Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second uh, Inion Polk webinar of the year. My name is Sarjana Niemela, and I'm a marketing coordinator here at Inion. Um, today's topic is Inion Compression, Bioabsorbable Compressions Group. And we have our very own presenters here today, Harri Hakkonen and Tero Aaltonen. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, everyone. First, um, Harri will talk a little bit about the background and technical features of the compression screw. And then Tero will introduce the surgical technique and some clinical cases. And then finally, he'll give you some tips regarding the compression screw. And you can write your questions in the chat if you have any. Uh, Harri and Tero will be happy to address them after their presentation. And as you probably noticed, we are recording the presentation, so it will be available to everyone uh, within a few weeks on Indian's YouTube channel and webpage. And once again, welcome everyone. And Harri, please feel free to share your presentation. Thank you, Sarianne. So I will I will uh, start sharing my presentation, and and then we can we can start. So my name is Harri Happonen, and I'm uh, 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 here at Inian, responsible for uh, training and education of our customers, as well as the marketing uh, functions. <clears throat> it's my pleasure to introduce the newest Inian product the Inion compression uh, screw to you. So it was launched uh, only a few months ago and then, and then we are happy to uh, share our first experience with the screw with you. Uh, the Inion compression screw is the uh, bioabsorbable headless compression screw. And I would say that it has a wide, wide strength of uh, the screw sizes. It's made out of a high strength oriented uh, polylactic acid copolymer. So it allows uh, multiple variations uh, for multiple indications. Small bone fractures as well as the larger bone fractures, <clears throat> fixations in those uh, bones. Uh, a little bit about the history of the Inion orthopedic product line. The first Inion uh, uh, orthopedic uh, product was the Inion OTPS screw and plate uh, system. It was launched in 2003, uh, so almost 20 years ago. It was made out of the uh, non-oriented polymer. However, we noticed that uh, some additional strength would be required uh, for the orthopedic implants. And then we developed the Inion Freedom screw system in 2013. <clears throat> it's made out of the, out of the same uh, oriented polyelectric acid dielectric copolymer, co which uh, we are using now in the compression. So in that sense, we could say that the Inion compression is an uh, like an addition to the Inion Freedom product line. The Inion Freedom screws have been now sold uh, more than 70,000 uh, screws already during this nine years time. And altogether, uh, I checked that uh, uh, more than 100,000 orthopedic surgeries have been done with the Inion orthopedic implants until now. Uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the screws have a wide product uh, portfolio. The uh, diameter start from 2.7 millimeter and the largest is uh, 6.0 millimeter. So the sizes are 2.7, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 5.0 .5, and 6.0 uh, millimeters. And the lengths uh, start from 12 millimeters and the longest screw is uh, 90 millimeters long. So there it allows a lot of different kind of bone fractures, small bone fractures, medium sized fractures, as well as a larger bone fracture fixations with the screws. Uh, uh, the material is a, a high strength oriented polylactic acid copolymer. It has a long, uh, safe, uh, good history already in the in the clinical use. It's the same material as used in the Inion Freedom screws. 
the strength retention time is 26 weeks so the implant uh, retain the initial strength around half a year and thereafter they will uh, uh, start losing the strength uh, the uh, torx head uh, of the screw will uh, distribute the forces to the screw head optimally so that it will also uh, make the, uh, the screw strong and easy to use. Uh, the, the screw is compression screw and how we make the compression is that there is an, uh, a lack of course in the between the uh, distal thread and, and uh, proximal thread and then there is a conical section in the head of the screw. And that will make the initial compression and then the, uh, the thread in the uh, head will finalize the compression and lock the screw uh, to the fracture. And the screw is headless, so it goes completely inside the bone. There is no uh, protruding head on the bone, which then minimizes the risk uh, for any kind of uh, uh, irritation for the surrounding uh, tissue. Uh, the screw, uh, we also think that the, the screw must be easy to use and fast to use. And, and that's why we selected the uh, Torx head uh, for the screw. And of course, the, the screwdriver has also Torx uh, uh, tip. So it, uh, the Torx design uh, very nicely engaged the screw driver to the screw head and you don't drop the screw during the operation. It also distributes the forces uh, optimally to the screw head so that the, uh, the screw insertion is uh, easy and fast. What is available in the Ineon Freedom uh, and, and Ineon compression system is the drill tap. So it's the combination of the drill bit and bone tap and makes the uh, dread ready uh, hole in the bone in one step, uh, meaning that the, the surgical uh, procedure is faster and easier. And all the screws and the instruments are cannulated, which makes the insertion drilling tapping easier and, and safer. The polymeric implants like the inion compression is the uh, a radio uh, lucent, so it does not cause any artifact in the in the imaging. However, you can see it, for example, in the MRI. So here you can see the osteochondral fracture fixation. Uh, there is two screws. You can see the holes of the screw, but you can see very clearly all the surrounding tissue, bony tissue and soft tissue around the fracture. Here you can see the drill holes uh, and the screws inserted. Uh, if you use the X-ray, you can see the holes for the screws, but you cannot see the implants. But it's a, a benefit in that sense that you can easily see the fracture lines and of course the healing of the fracture lines during the uh, follow-up uh, uh, time. The complete resorption of the uh, inion compression and inion freedom implant is two to four years. Uh, and of course, then uh, when the implant is resorbing, uh, it does not need to be removed uh, systematically. And there is no permanent implant left in the body. If you think about the young patients, uh, like here playing football, if they would have a fracture and, and they would need to have an implant if there would be used a metal implant it has to be removed uh, after the surgery however with the resorbable implant that can be avoided here is the uh, uh, mass loss curve uh, for the uh, for the inion compression and inion uh, freedom screws uh, first uh, year the implant stays in the body and there after one year uh, uh, the implants start decreasing the mass, losing the mass, and at two years time interval, there is less than 30% of the initial mass, mass left. And between two to four years, the implant completely resorbs from the body. A uh, little bit about the indications. Uh, so the compression screws can be used in uh, 
multiple uh, indications in upper extremity and lower extremity in hand and wrist uh, fractures, elbow, shoulder. Uh, uh, very common fractures and osteotomy fixations are in foot and ankle, as well as in, in uh, 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 knee joint, joint. Osteochondral frac fracture fixation, for example, or patella fixation are the uh, quite common uh, indication. Uh, this is the graph showing the strength retention time. This is made here at Indian Laboratory. We have a laboratory here at Indian uh, facility and we are testing all the implants ourselves. Uh, and here you can see that the, uh, the screws retain initial strength up to 26 weeks and thereafter within uh, next uh, six months they will lose the strength completely. Uh, what is benefit of the orientation of the polymer? So the early Indian products were made out of uh, non-oriented polymer, the Indian OTPS screws, for example. Now we are using the oriented polymer in a freedom system and compression system. And you can see that the, uh, the orientation of the polymer doubles at least the strength of the polymer itself. So it will give some additional significant additional uh, uh, security and safety to the uh, fracture fixation. Uh, here you can see the design of the uh, compression screw and uh, there is a distal thread uh, section which will pull, pull the screw inside the bone and also pull the fracture, uh, fractured uh, part of the uh, bone uh, together to the uh, bone. And here is the conical section, which will make the uh, compression. And finally, the uh, threaded uh, head will uh, lock the, the screw in the fracture, fractured uh, bone. All screws are cannulated, uh, so it's easy to use uh, with the cannulated instruments and uh, uh, guide wires. Here is the uh, uh, diagram showing how the compression is made. Uh, when you insert the screw and, and then the head will uh, contact the uh, 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 upper uh, part of the fracture, uh, the bone will be compressed. And when you insert the screw, uh, first the conical part will compress the, uh, create the compression. And finally, also this threaded part will uh, give some additional compression. And finally, when the screw is completely inside the bone, uh, the maximum compression has been uh, achieved. And that's how it works. How much compression can be then uh, created? So this is the test uh, 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 report or diagram showing the uh, Indian compression screw uh, different sizes uh, tested in the 20 PCF saw bone. So it mimics uh, like a cancellous bone structure. And then uh, we tested how much compression you can create with the different screw sizes. And here you can see that it starts from uh, 40 newtons up to 90 newtons. So meaning that with the smallest screw, 2.7 millimeter screw, you can put uh, around four kilos load uh, to the fracture, which is already in my mind significant and then nicely locks the uh, fractures together. And here it's uh, around nine, nine kilos, so it's a full sink of uh, water uh, uh, and it's already quite heavy, heavy if you try to uh, carry it. So it really creates a nice compression to the fracture line. And this is then the, uh, the video uh, clip showing uh, in a real laboratory uh, uh, how, how the compression is made. This is now the saw bone uh, uh, material and there is a drill hole and threaded hole, hole in the, in the saw bones. When you insert the screw, it goes nicely into the bone. And, and finally, when the head, conical head, contacts the upper surface, 
uh, the bone fragment will be compressed to the bone and then the threaded part will lock the, uh, the screw and the fracture uh, in place. We made the same uh, uh, kind of simulation in animal bone and there is there is also hole uh, made already in the bone and when you insert the screw you can see that uh, this uh, osteotomy line is nicely compressed uh, with the screw uh, together so this is how the how the screw works and, and uh, it has been now used here in finland and and, and i'm happy to uh, uh, leave now the word to Tero, and Tero will explain you to, uh, more about the uh, surgical technique and also some clinical feedback. Welcome, Tero, and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Harry, your presentation, and, and let's let's continue here. Well, first, I will will show our surgical technique and and then there is several cases that we have done and, and i will explain a little bit of these but first the surgical technique as you can see it it's quite easy and simple and and, and uh, so the learn curve is quite short we have a four different kind of k wires 0 0.8 to 1.25 1.6 and 2 millimeter. And then the length is quite easy to measure with our instrument. And you can see it already how length is the uh, option of the screw. And then with the sleeve and, and also in, in drill tap, you can see it, uh, the zero point. And then there is between five millimeters the measurement marking. And then you can see whole time that how how go, how far you are going and, and and then backward that you don't destroy the threads and because of torques it's easy for nurse to give you the uh, screwdriver with the screw and you can count on that a screw will stay there in the screwdriver you don't need to worry about it. And now you can see how it works. The compress will come. And locking. So it's quite easy to handle and easy to work with work with this one. Next, we have a cases. This was our first cases. And, and, and because we are not afraid to take the challenge, we started from the from with uh, a osteotomy and talonavicular arthrosis. So, so as you can see the, here, here are the screw holes, and also here you can see the screw holes. And, and this was one case, and and the, the lady, old lady, she is now. Uh, healing very well, and then and, and she has started to use her leg as before, and no pain. And slowly, she will walk longer trips in, in the next of house. The next one was uh, really tricky for us because the customer was nurse. So, so, so. We 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 was expecting that we will hearing hearing if there is any any issues, but for us we were really lucky, and then this was working very nicely. And you can see it here as well the whole of the screw places. But yeah, CC is also now working, and and, and no issues. I will tell if there come any issues. I will get tell, and you can ask these two for us. This has done about two weeks ago in private hospital, and, and the customer was 20, uh, 42 years old lady. The challenge was that there was in Kustain Talus in medial side, so, so we mm, did the medial malleolus osteotomy. And this one was quite length, 
because uh, she, she wants to that, that the healing area is quite large. So, so that's why we use it there two times 4.5 and 40 and one times 4.528. And this uh, 4.528 goes two corticals. So, so it, it, it has fixed it very well. And we are waiting to the results that how does it works also in these kind of cases. Next one was that uh, 23 years of girl and in OCD in tails. And, and, and they use it two times, 2.7, uh, 16 millimeters uh, screws. And, and uh, here, someone asking that, is it possible to use this one? Uh, even it would be quite a uh, narrow slide of bone under the college. And it, it, it works also in these cases. You might using pins or, or, or nails in these kind of cases, but, but with compression screws, you don't need to worry about, is it uh, to pull out? Will it pull out sometime, some uh, day later? And then also we did the same, we, with same uh, operation, we did the medial osteotomy with uh, 4.5, 45 millimeters screws. And, and as Harry mentioned, that, that when you do it with, with our screws, you don't need to worry about it, that if there's something which covering the picture or, or the fracture or, or are, are there something that you might not, go, oh, oh, you don't have a, a possibility to go to MRI directly. With, with our screws, you have, and also one thing that if some days in the future, you have some kind of, challenging issue comes, then there, it's like a vertical area to go there. You don't need to worry about how many screws or how many plates you have to take off in revision cases or, or in, in a new fracture. Uh, weeks ago, we had possibility, possibility to do first trochleoplasty. Usually, uh, the orthopedic has used it pins or or headless he heads screws here, and and when he did this first case, he told to us that uh, the compress is excellent and the the feeling that it will taking care of these cards and 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 the position will stay longer with these ones. Uh, and then, so we are we are very sure that in future, tocrylplasty with compression will be one thing that quite many can and will be using around the world. And next one, I was really nervous when we uh, did this one because this was first time we did uh, the arthroscopic case, and I wasn't sure that how these instruments, because these are not special, special instruments for arthroscopy, but it works nicely. And, and, and this 13 year girl has come back and, and, and he, uh, she has started her training. And, 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 and customer, when she didn't, he didn't have a chance to do any kind of training, we just uh, started from the operating room and, and, and everything works nicely because the K-wire will, be sure, will be helping you to uh, guiding the screw on, on the right place. And also the sleeve will covering the soft tissue that you don't need to worry about it when you do it with the drill tap that it will be covered by soft tissue, but yeah. And this is the second case that uh, we did in other private hospital for 31 year man. And we did that also the arthroscopic way. And as you can see the garlics and you can see the, 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 the there is the part, part and then here he, you can see, and then we didn't go to the under and we just directly uh, use it the K wire and then 
sleep was there uh, covering the tissue area and then then uh, we drilled up and quail wire we, we could work nicely arthroscopy surgery was something that we didn't uh, think about it when we started to plan our instrument and so this was something that we we, we might do it later uh, that, that uh, every time we was hoping that it will be an open situation when we are doing the operation but now we have seen that gay wire canaling drill tap and, and drill sleeve and torque screwdriver they really work there in in in, in arthroscopic cases too and as you can see in picture uh, from the top to the zero point, for example, in, in this in this case, it, it is 3.5 uh, uh, diameters uh, for screws, and uh, it's 35 millimeters length. So, so you can be sure that when you are there in zero point in in college line, uh, you you can put it in 30. 28, even 32 millimeter length screw, and then and, and it will go nicely inside the bone. When you do it, uh, one cortical cases, leave it always the step for next. For example, when you go with K wire, then you're measuring, then you know that, for example, it is. 26, and then, uh, then you can think about it, 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 it can be 24 or, or 22 or 20 millimeters length screw. Then you will go with the drill tap and then leave it a little bit base again for that. And then screw. And then so, so you, are, you, you can be sure that it will fit in. Even there would be something uh, tissue or bone, uh, part of bone pieces, and, and, and so, so on. And one thing is that we always re remember our customers to do is the flush. Flush with sterile water, and then be careful that nothing drop there, because even this is not the metal, and, and so, so we, we know that this is a little bit softer. And one thing also is that avoid lateral movements, especially when you're using 2.7 millimeters screws, because there is not so much material. And then also one thing that I have said to, to customers that when you work with our product, be gently as you as you are with your with your part with your partner. So so remember, be gently as you are with your partner. So everything goes nicely and then you will get excellent results with compression screws. And now it's time for questions. I will thank for my side and then I will stop my sharing and let's go back to questions if there is any questions. Hello, uh, yes, thank you Tero. Thank you, Tero. Um, it was very interesting to hear about the cases uh, uh, which we have had uh, now. And uh, <clears throat> there are one question uh, uh, from uh, uh, Ammar. Uh, and uh, uh, does the material itself help to, uh, or enhance bone union? I would, I would uh, answer to that that the uh, union polymers are not uh, uh, any more uh, any la, any kind of active materials. They just resorb and then they will disappear from the body. So the bone is itself healing, and then the material of the screw doesn't uh, help or or make it any more difficult. So. Uh, that is the that is the case uh, with the Indian Indian compression screws. Uh, 
in, in this moment, I have to say also that we don't have a much uh, uh, trauma cases yet, but there will become more trauma cases because we have started uh, uh, cooperate with Helsinki University Hospital Trauma Hospital. So, so in the future, there will be more cases, not only in uh, foot and ankle, also in upper arm and other way, other part of the uh, human body. There will become cases and, and we will share these also in the future. Okay, there might be another uh, from Vladimir. Uh, <clears throat> is there any clinical experience on cranial surgery? Uh, uh, the inion compression is uh, used in the orthopedic applications. So uh, and the screw uh, sizes are also uh, designed more for the orthopedic applications. So we have other product line, which is called Inion CPS plating system, uh, uh, there is screws and plates which are used in the cranial uh, maxillofacial surgery. Uh, <clears throat> uh, have you already performed uh, FNF, femoral neck fracture surgery with compression? Tero, what would you say about that? Not yet. We, we have a plan. We have a very good situation in, in, in pediatric uh, hospital. And we have talked about this, but but actually we haven't tested yet. Is it uh, how much it can, how, how, how we can use it that in these kind of cases. Okay, good. Uh, let's see if there are any... Uh... One more question uh, from Ammar. Uh, uh, can we use it in combination with uh, another metal material in the same bone? I would say that yes. So if you have a fracture where you have a, something which requires really strong material in the long bones, you can use the metal uh, plating system or metal uh, screws, and then you can fix the the fractures which are lower loaded uh, with the resorbal uh, implants. All right, thank you very much. So uh, uh, very good questions and, and thank you for your um, attention. Uh, we are here for you uh, now and, and coming years and and then please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any, any questions about the compression screws or any other Indian products.